The School of Music, Theater and Dance has a very competitive piano performance doctoral degree program. We get applicants from all over the world and we can only take three per year. Our standards are quite high and one of the curricular requirements we have is that they perform a complete concerto for piano and orchestra. But it has not been that we have been actually able to provide them that experience here at the School of Music, Theater and Dance. It's very expensive and playing with orchestra is quite rare. But we've been very happy that we were able to receive a grant from the School of Music, Theater and Dance to be able to partner with the Ann Arbor Symphony, which is our great professional orchestra in town, to provide a professional experience for these doctoral students to fulfill their degree requirement. So we have four soloists Friday night. They are all in their final year of the doctoral program. They have each chosen great concerti from the literature, and they represent all parts of the United States and the world. A concerto is a piece for a soloist and orchestra. The concerto itself was developed in the Baroque period around the middle of the 1600s by a man named Alessandro Stradella. And he developed a kind of genre of piece where a violin soloist primarily would play with a small number of other string players. One of the reasons that the concerto became so popular is that Stradella was quite a ladies' man and had a habit of running off with the noblemen's wives. So the concerto form was popular as he traveled around Italy trying to avoid the assassins that the noblemen sent after him until 1682 when they caught up with him and Stradella was no more, unfortunately. However, the concerto form lived on. The piano concerto form specifically was developed by Johann Sebastian Bach, primarily because Bach was a keyboardist and he wanted something to play for himself with orchestral backup. From then, many, many great composers have been pianists themselves and have developed the piano concerto for their own performance vehicles. The concerti themselves really represent these composers' best efforts for themselves and because of the largeness of the force, their best efforts in finding profundity of expression in music. That really has to be experienced live in order to be understood. If you come with an open heart on Friday and you see these students really pouring their hearts into their performance and giving their best, who knows what can happen? The imagination that will be sparked in your own minds? That kind of inspiration can only come from a live performance, I find.